The club food is a malformation on newborn babies. One of 100 to 1,000 babies uh, have a club foot, and it's usually treated by casting in the, in the hospitals. A, a club foot is a malformation you can find even in the uh, 17th week of pregnancy. The foot does not develop any further and it sticks very stiff in this malformation. You can see on this real example of a newborn baby. And what we do try with the method I work with is to have a gentle correction in little steps to do the enfoldment, enfolding in a way that is natural from the beginning to have a yeah, yeah, no, so don't worry. Good, correct it. Because we have the rotation in the food. Yeah, yeah, it's really this project yeah. starts to help the treatment of so club fit to show and uh, so make we visible how it works to correct the club foot on a newborn baby and <coughs> to have it shown on a screen how this very delicate correction can be done with a high level of quality control because you can damage such a little foot if you don't be careful. Our son was born with club feet, very severe club feet, 16 and 18, that's quite high, and he was a very heavy baby. And uh, so we treated him with Ponsetti, uh, that's the method that's used here, right away. And he kept losing his cast because he was such a tonic baby and such a high score. And uh, so we didn't quite know what to do. And uh, after being in the hospital every two days to replace his cast, I thought there must be another way to do this. And that's how I then found out about this other method, a more dynamic method where you're not just making the foot rigid in the, correct, in the correction, but you actually do something dynamically. And we were very lucky. Ten days after his birth, uh, we then moved to this new, this different method, and it worked beautifully on him. He didn't have any operation. He runs like every other four-year-old boy runs and jumps and has fun. And we're enormously grateful to have had access to this method. It was not available where we live. So right after birth, I actually was in a different city, about uh, 400 kilometers from home, for three months, and then. Uh, uh, three days a week I was actually traveling to a, yet another city <laughs> to have the treatment, so that was the difficulty. And um, being a physicist myself, I understood that the difficulty why there's not more therapists available to do this treatment is because it's so hard to teach it. And that's why I thought, I mean, there must be a way to visualize what the therapist is doing. And that's when I saw this hackathon, the Open Geneva Hackathon, come along. I thought, we have to submit the project here. There must be a way to actually have some kind of a visualization of her treatment. That's then going to allow us, hopefully, to have more capacity built, more physical therapists who are able to have this method. Who you are? Okay, I'm uh, Neuza. I'm uh, working uh, with Mihai, uh, trying to get the data from this SOC and uh, just handle the, um, the data so transforming into real angles because we are bo both working we are working with uh, both hardware and software so we had to divide ourselves uh, and uh, try to figure this out uh, do a, a hardware prototype and we are so we, we are kind of in this prototype phase we have this we divided into pressure uh, prototype, angle prototype, just for the hardware. And then we have the data handling, communication between the Arduino and Python. And then we have communication between Python and the web browser. And then we have another team working on the modeling of the 3D object uh, in the web. So we are quite uh, divided into several uh, small challenges. So that's the... the <laughs> The, the main objective here. Because, uh, yeah. My idea, my dream, is that we do have a teaching aid which actually visualizes exactly what our therapist is doing, teaching other therapists here locally in Geneva, in Zurich, in Berlin, in Hamburg, wherever it's needed, such that parents, where the other traditional method fails, 
do have an alternative, do have another choice. That's, that's my dream.